So in the previous section, we have seen some introduction to subnetting, where subnetting is a method of dividing one single network into multiple small networks. It majorly minimizes the wastage of the IP addresses. And there are two different methods of doing subnetting. We can either do using FLSM, where we, we actually divide the network into equal sizes. Okay, that's what we call as FLSM. Or we can divide based on the VLSM, where we can divide the network, may be equal, may not be equal. Okay, so more on calculations, we'll see more in detail in FLSM and VLSM. And these are the formulas which we use for calculations. And what exactly we do in the subnetting is we convert zeros into ones, okay? And we have seen some uh, brief overview on that in our previous section. So probably in this section, we are going to directly jump into our calculations. So in this example, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the one of the first example. So first we'll start with the C-class example. So using C-class requirement is, let's say 50 host addresses. So I'm going to do FLSM. So mostly in the first two, three examples or two, three sessions, we are going to uh, do only FLSM uh, because FLSM is the foundation. So first we'll start with FLSM and then we'll go ahead with VLSM calculations also. So the question here is, uh, if you just take an example of any C-class network, by default, it supports two, zero to 255 addresses. There's a default size of the network of any C-class. Now I want to divide this network into multiple small sizes so that each and every small size network should get minimum of 50 host addresses. So that's my requirement. Okay. So let us go ahead and start with uh, the calculation first. So if you just go back with the example here, what is the formula which we use if you are calculating based on the host? It has to be 2 to the power of h greater than a minus 2 greater than equal to requirement. So uh, this formula will help us in converting, in finding out how many bits we need to convert. So the formula here is 2 to the power of h minus 2 greater than equal to requirement. So here the requirement is 50. So I need to consider the 2 power table. So the 2 power table which satisfies my condition. So if I go with, let me take down the 2 power table here. So this is my two power table here. So I'm going to take this two power table here. Okay. So which, which value satisfies my condition here? So my requirement is 50. So if I take two power of five, two to the power of five, it will be 32. So, but it doesn't satisfy my condition. My requirement has to be 50. So, so I'm going to take two to the power of six, 64. So which means even though your requirement is 50, but exact 50 we can it's not possible the possible size is 64 okay so if you want to divide any network uh, we we get only this possible sizes so either we can get a to the power of 2 4 size or 8 16 32 64 128 if my requirement is 100 host so i cannot divide a network with exact 100 so the nearest possible size will be 128 if my requirement is 200 the nearest possible size will be 256. So these are the only possible sizes we can divide uh, based on the requirement. So I'm going to take 2 to the power of 6, so which is going to satisfy my condition, 2 to the power of 6. And we are doing minus 2 here. And this minus 2 is for network ID and the broadcast ID. Because we cannot use the first and the last addresses. So 2 to the power of 6 satisfies my condition. So it will be 64 and minus two, we cannot use for network and in the broadcast ID. So 62 will be your valid host addresses. So, which means even though my requirement is 50 here, but uh, I, I get a size of 64. In that 64, I cannot use the two addresses because the first and the last address will be your network and the broadcast address. And maximum in future, if I want to add some devices, if I had to extend, I can extend up to 62 devices. So this is the first step we need to calculate. This is the first step here. Now, once we calculate this, now the second thing we need to figure out how many host bits we require here. So here we need to figure out required host bits. So whatever the power value we get here, this power value, now this will be your required host bits, six. 
so which means in case of c class which class we are using here we are using c class in c class by default there are three network portions and one host portion so if you write them in in decimal values it will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right network always represent with ones and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this is actually the binary format of the subnet mask or the network portions there are three network portions here and one host portion here so which means there are eight host bits so out of eight host bits i just need only six because according to my requirement if i use six bits as a host that will be sufficient so which means the remaining two bits we are going to convert them into network okay so or we can we can do like this we can write like converted network bits is equal to n bits is equal to so we can write as total host bits so we need to subtract the required host bits so total there are eight eight host bits as per my c class example and i just need only six here based on the total power of h minus 2 which i have calculated i need only six so the two remaining two bits gets converted here so total becomes how many total network bits becomes it will become by default there are 8 plus 8 plus 8 so which means by default there are 24 network bits okay and then 2 gets converted so it becomes how much 26 network bits so total becomes 26 network bits here so which means as per my example here by default C class supports 24 network and 8 host bits but after doing subnetting it has been changed to 26 and 6 now so which means uh, if you just go back with an example which I discussed here so if I if I use 8 host bits to the power of 8 how much it will be 256 is the size of the network which is the default size now once I reduce the bits to 6 it will become 64 will be the size of the network so in order to reduce the num size of the network we just need to reduce the number of host bits so and how many bits do we need to reduce or how many bits we need to convert we can say that will be decided based on this formula so we use this formula to the power of h minus 2 greater than, greater than equal to requirement this formula is going to help us in in figuring out how many bits we need to convert now once we calculate this uh, once we figure out how many host bits we require and then once we figure out how many network bits and host bits we need to find what is the subnet mask now this is your subnet mask whatever you can see this is your subnet mask but it is in binary format but we write the subnet mask in which format we write in decimal format right so the subnet mask will be if you add 8 bits it will be 255 and if you add 8 bits it will be 255 here and 8 bits it will be 255 and then if you add 2 bits that is 128 plus 64 here it will become 192 so the subnet mask will be 255 255 255 192 now the subnet mask changes because the size of the network changes okay so this is your subnet mask so let me write down the subnet mask here it will be 255 it will be 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot 192 is the submit mask this is your submit mask okay so now the tally of 20 24 8 has been changed to uh, how much 26 and 6 right so this is the default now it changed to 26 and 6 now the last thing we need to do is we need to write the range of the addresses the range the range always written based on to the power of h value right now to the power of h value is 64 is the size of the network okay so if i'm writing any c class example so let's say the c class example 192 168 1 dot 192 168 1 dot 192 168 1 dot let's say any c class it can be so it not compulsory that it has to be this any c class the same way we do calculation so it's, it's going to be the same calculation for any C class. Okay, 
So now writing the range, the range always written based on to the power of h value as I discussed. So right now the default size of the C class network is how much? So it starts on zero and ends on 255. So that is the default size of the network. Okay. So now this network is further divided into multiple small networks. I think I'll get four networks because 64 into four is 256. So now this is further divided into four parts and now the range will be group of 64 addresses will be one network. So which means if I write 0 to 63, 0 to 63 is one network because group of 64 addresses and 64 to 127 will be another network and 128 to 191 will be another network and 192 to 255 will be another network. So just we need to write group of 64 addresses as a part of one network. So either we can write like this or I generally prefer another way. So I generally write like this 0 uh, plus 64 will be the next network plus 64 will be the next network plus 64 will be the next network. Okay. And, and my range you can see the next network starts on 64 which means my network ends on 63 and then my network ends on 127 and then my network ends on 191 because the next network starts on 192 and it ends on 255. So the same thing this is rough so I'm going to write it in fair so the range will be 0 to 63 is one network or we can write like this 0 to uh, 0 this is 0 63 so this is 0 and then 64 next network and then 128 plus 64 plus 64 and it ends on 0 to 63 and then 127 and this will be 191 and then 255 now as per our calculations summating now this is one network okay this is the first network and then this is my second network this is the second network this line and this is my third network and then this is my fourth network okay so these are my first second and third four networks and in these networks again this uh, top this is the first address this will be my network address or the network id and this last address will be the broadcast ID. Now how their network ID, how their broadcast ID, I'm going to explain you more in detail after some examples. Okay, so right now in the first network, 192.168.1.0 is a network ID and 63 is the broadcast address. And then in the second network, 64 is a network ID and 127 is a broadcast address. And then the third network, 128 is a network ID and the 191 is a broadcast ID. So similar way in the fourth network. So everything, whatever you see on the left side, these are the network IDs for each and every network. And whatever you see on the right side, these are the broadcast addresses of each and every network. Now this is how we write the range and how they are different networks. I'm going to explain you after the next example. I'll be discussing one more example and I'll, I'll explain you on that. Okay, so let me just quickly revise the calculation process. So the first step we need to calculate we need to figure out how many, what is my requirement and then we need to see the 2 power value whichever satisfies our condition. So according to the 2 power table, 64 is the possible size but I can only use, uh, I cannot use the first and the last addresses because of the network ID and the broadcast address. So the valid host addresses will be 62. So from that, uh, I get this 6, required host bits is 6 and I'm going to use only 6 host bits and the remaining 2 I'm going to convert them into network. Okay, so based on that, it will be 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 2. So this will, I'll get this subnet mask. If I convert this binary into decimal, and then total will be the tally of 24, 8 will change to 26 and 6. And then finally writing the range. The range is always written based on uh, two to the power of H value. Right now, right now the network size is 0 to 63 is one network, 64 to 120 is one network because these are the group of 64, 64, 64 addresses. Okay, so group of 64 addresses will be one network. So 64 into four networks, it will be 256. Okay, so that's how that's how we do calculation. 
now this is a very basic uh, submitting the first example of submitting so like that we can do some more examples by taking different examples in our next session